Hey everyone, it's me. I am going to be testing fragrances one and two of Brambleberry.com's soap panel mystery fragrances. Um, doing a one pound batch, my normal recipe. So that means I already have, you know, all my oils, obviously, uh, my oats, my clay. Um, I have my milks over here. I, the only difference really is I'm using more water than I normally do. Um, I normally have a water discount, so I hope soap hardens up faster. But since these are untested fragrances, we don't know what they're going to do in soap, whether or not they're going to speed things up or slow things down, as the case may be. I am not going to color them, but I am going to put a little micro swirl on top just because A, it's pretty, <laughs> and B, um, I'm going to have eight batches of these little guys sitting around and I want to make sure I know what's what. I got these little tiny one pound molds from Brambleberry. Um, this is absolutely stinking adorable. And um, yeah, like I guess I'll probably get about three or so bars out of this. Um, and we'll figure out what to do with them when the time comes. But so this is batch number one with fragrance number one. Um, I got everything in here all mixed together well, so now it's time to add the lye. Just one more, one more, one more. Alright, and that's it. No more. Mommy's making soap. I just want to do more. Kaden. I like this. I'll be that. My son's stealing little plastic hair ties from me. Even my mom, even my mom. But I steal Alright, Kaden, enough. No more after that. No more. You're going to lose stuff. Yes, my son, I said, is stealing hair ties for his dolls. It's cute, don't worry. Alright, lie is in. I am like barely gonna stick blanks. Just making sure the lye is emulsified with the oils before I put my milks in. Yeah. Hello, there we go. Good. So I'm interested to see how my opinion on these fragrances changes now that I'm not smelling them all at once. Because I've been watching other people, uh, their first impressions, and it, it's funny because we keep saying this to each other, that we're all picking up different things, and it's just amazing how different noses pick up different things. Like, I think I'm the only one that got licorice on that one, and I, I don't know if it's licorice or not, but that's what I picked up. I think we're done with the stick blender. Because it's thickening up on me, which is fine. Mommy, can I have one, one, one more, one? No, you need to leave the room now. I'm making soap. No, one kiss. Not one, one more. Here, Ty, one kiss. Mm hmm. 
All right, go. Take my ring, go. Go. I love you. Go. All right. Yeah, still chocolate, but now I hear I smell peppermint for sure. It is a very there is some minty undertones to this. So peppermint patty. That's my or thin mints. It is Girl Scout cookie season sorta. Alright, let's see. I don't see any rising. It doesn't seem to be accelerating. Still as fluid as it's going to be. Yeah, looks good. All right. And how I ended up more than that is beyond me. I've got other little molds sitting around here, don't worry. It's very fluid, so much so that I am going to need to let it sit up a little while before I can do a mica swirl with it. Um... But yeah, looks good. Um, something that smells like chocolate, nine times out of ten, is going to have vanilla in it. So I really think this will look dark enough on us. Which is why I'm going, when I do do my mica swirl, which I'll probably end up doing off camera, um, I'm using this sparkle white mica. Because um, I am using this, like I said, with the assumption that this is going to get dark. And I thought that would look really pretty. So, uh... That's fragrance number one. So far so good, behaved well. So we'll uh, see what happens uh, coloring wise and uh, how well it holds up in cold process soap. I will be back in a little while with fragrance number two. Hey everyone, I thought I was filming you and I wasn't. Um, we've got fragrance number two. I've already mixed in my lye and my milks and the fragrance is in. Um, just put it in though, so you really didn't miss all the exciting part, to be honest, because we don't know what to expect from this. This, um, this fragrance number two, in my original video I said smelled like some kind of spice bread. I still smell a little spice. Something's going on in there, but I also smell kind of like a buttery sugar, burnt sugar type, um, scent. It's a, definitely a foodie scent, like I said. I'm just, there's, like I said, something else going on in there. And I want to say spice, some kind of spice or pumpkin or something like that. But I am not sure. Um, doesn't seem to be racing. Isn't really accelerating. Still pretty fluid. The last batch, I had to give it a good 20 minutes to half an hour before I could actually, uh, have it set up enough to do a, a micro swirl. So, I mean, I didn't split stick blend it that much. So, but yeah, it took a while to set up. So it didn't. That one definitely didn't accelerate. Yep, no rising. Nice and fluid. I'm gonna go get the mold.
Another cute little mold. I'm going to do a copper mica swirl on this one. Remember I did a white sparkle mica swirl on the first one, so this one's going to be copper. I can tell this fragrance, it was yellowy when I put it in. Um, so I definitely think there's going to be a, a little bit of discoloration. And it does seem a bit more yellow than my first batch, my first, first soap. Yeah, this one's going to need a little while to set up again. So I will be mica swirling it off camera. And um, depending on how exciting these look, I may or may not cut on camera. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I will definitely post pictures on my Facebook page and um, give updates if I don't. So make sure you head on over there and like me if you want to keep up uh, updated. Like I said, I'm not sure how much of these I'll be filming. I'll, be, I'll film the making of them, but cutting and whatnot, I don't know. I will, in a few weeks, give updates as they cure. So either way, that'll be on YouTube and on my Facebook page. But if you want to find me on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Skyline Soapworks, all one word. Give me a like and... Um, I will um, post some wet soap pictures once I get all these mica swirled today. Um, and I will see you all later. Have a good one. Bye. Hey everybody, it's me. I just wanted to um, add on a little update from the uh, soap panel fragrances number one and two. Um, I made them a couple days ago. I unmolded them yesterday. And uh, number one, the fragrance was in little droplets everywhere and the, oil, the mold was a bit of an oily mess. They've reabsorbed for the most part. I don't know if you can see, there's a couple little speckles. Let me see if I can get in closer and refocus. Sorry. Um, there's a couple little speckles right there. I don't know if you can see them. So they're still absorbing. It's also a pretty uh, yellow bar. It's, sorry you're moving around so much. I don't have you on a tripod right now, which was my mistake. Um, it's it's yellowy, it's, um, it's discolored some. Uh, I don't know if it'll darken or not. As for the smell, I still definitely smell chocolate. I am not getting the pepperminty undertone I was getting before. Um, so I'm not quite sure if this is just a purely chocolate fragrance or maybe like hot cocoa or something like that, but yeah, I'm, I'm only getting chocolate right now. But other than that, it's nice, it's fine, it's nice hard bar already. Um, as for number two, number two got really warm, and I don't know if you can see it on here or not, but there's the ring, it, 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 it underwent partial gel. I don't generally tend to gel my soaps. I soap cool and I keep them in a cool room when I first pour them. But this really got warm, no matter what I tried. Um, and that's what these speckles are. They're probably the milks that I add um, caramelized a bit because of the heat. Um, so that's, it's kind of aesthetic more than anything. Um, again, it's a bit discolored, it's a bit yellowy, uh, but other than that, it's fine. It smells pretty good. I'm definitely getting like a burnt sugar type smell. It did not, uh, the fragrance oil did not kind of uh, come out of it like it did with number one. So I didn't find it the next morning covered in fragrance oil droplets or anything, but so anyways, that's where we're at right now. I will keep an eye on these as they cure and see how they end up. Um, this will probably be the last video I make regarding these ones in particular. I'll definitely post pictures on my Facebook page as we go along. Uh, so thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.